So it's Glyn Williams, Faculty Director of PGR um, in the Faculty of Social Sciences, and I'm a reader in the Department of Urban Studies and Planning. I guess there are a, a range of places where PhDs are usually advertised. Um, university and faculty web pages would be important, but also jobs.ac.uk, uh, find a PhD, all of those places, uh, particularly if you're looking outside University of Sheffield, you know, to look nationally is important, but there'll be a variety of different sources. Talking to people within your subject area, the researchers that you would want to be working with as your, as your supervisors, it's also really important because often there are funding opportunities which come up on a short-term basis or an ad hoc basis. PhDs in the social sciences have traditionally tended to be defined by the student. So you have an idea of what it is that you'd like to research and you know, preferably you've got that in a format of something that is researchable for a, a three-year topic. It has to be um, a well-focused and realistic programme of research that is, now this is going to sound very difficult, but roughly PhD size and shape, and that's why, um, you know, it's basically going to keep you busy for a programme of research for three years. In practice though, there's a real mix, um, and there may be funding streams for particular projects, uh, and sometimes it's a bit of a hybrid. PhD applications run throughout the whole year. Um, there are particular hotspots in terms of when fun particular funding streams are available. I think the most important thing on time is if you've got a, an idea that you want to do research on a topic, start talking to people straight away um, because sometimes there's quite a long lead in time in moving from a vague idea to a submittable research proposal. Get talking early, but there are no particular sort of deadlines to be working to within the academic year. The application processes differ, um, and I guess one of the important things within social sciences is that um, formal application, the point at which you kind of submit something, you know, a formal application form to the university, may happen quite late in the process of your discussion and design of your research topic. Informal contact with um, potential PhD supervisors that you might be working with um, is often really important before you've made a formal application and that process can be quite elastic depending on uh, your time demands as a student, your, um, uh, your potential supervisor's time demands. If you're getting in contact with a potential supervisor, try and be specific if you can. Look, I've got this experience, I've got this interest, I'd like to do a PhD because... The more information you give us, the more uh, concretely we can respond to that and the more we can build on your ideas. First contact isn't everything, but you, know, you, get, you want to make a good impression and you want to sort of put yourself... Um, out there as somebody who is you know, seriously interested um, in, in, in doctoral level research. So having some sort of idea of what you're interested in and, about, in and why is, is an important first step. The selection processes do differ slightly according to funding stream. Um, one thing that will happen though for all students is that at some point in the selection process there will be an interview. So there will be an interview as part of that. Um, but yeah, beyond that there's, there is quite a lot of, of, of variety. Because there are a couple of big funding streams um, for UK students, there tends to be a kind of crunch point for university and um, economic and social research council studentships. So late winter and the very start of the spring, so kind of that December to February window, there is a wide variety of different funding sources out there. Often who you are in terms of um, your, your citizenship and your nationality often shapes which funding streams you're, you're looking at to a, to, to a great degree. So sort of government funding streams from overseas countries might be very important for international students from those places. For the UK and to a degree EU audience, um, the Economic and Social Research Council uh, studentships which are um, administered here within Sheffield through uh, a doctoral training partnership uh, with a range of other universities across the Yorkshire region. Um, those studentships are particularly important for the British students. 
Are you somebody who can communicate your, um, who can communicate clear thinking both in written and verbal form? Can you articulate your ideas clearly and succinctly? Um, often departments will ask students to write their research proposals within a set format. That might be a three-page summary of your research project, your intended research project. Follow that guidance, stick to that limit, because often getting your ideas across clearly and succinctly is an important part of, an important part of the process. References are good, they're only a part of the application process, though we'd want, you know, we'd want to look at those references, but it's also the quality of your academic background and, and of your proposal.